Good morning, kids and families of the heart. I want us to take a field trip. We're gonna go over to my friend Gloria's house and she is gonna teach us a little bit more about what it means to be merciful. Are you guys ready? And by the way, she brought a friend of her own, so I'm excited for you guys to meet them. Let's go. Aloha, this is Gloria from the Heart for Children and I brought along a friend today to help me with our lesson. His name is Buddy the Bee. Hi, Gads. We're learning about the Beatitudes. Beatitudes? Have mercy. That's an interesting comment. We're actually going to be talking about mercy. Do you know what mercy is? Being kind? Well, it is being kind, but it's much more. Our verse for today is Matthew 5, 7. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall be shown mercy. The dictionary says that mercy is compassion or forgiveness for someone who's done wrong against you. Say what? It makes me mad when my wasps come in and steal my honey. Am I supposed to forgive them? Well, buddy, have you ever done anything wrong or taken something that didn't belong to you? Everybody messes up sometimes. Yes, everyone does. Isn't it wonderful that our Heavenly Father has mercy and forgives us? Christ taught us to pray, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. If we're forgiven, then we should forgive others. How can I do that? It just makes me mad when wasps take my honey. You need a power bigger than your love of your honey. You need to remember how much God loves you. When you fill yourself up with God's love, His precious love, then you can share it with others. Huh? How do I do that? Well, think of it like charging your cell phone. If you have a full battery, then you can use the phone and all the apps and play it all day with a full battery. But what if you plug it in and charge it, but you never use it? What good is it? The full charge doesn't do you any good if you don't use it. That's how God's love is. He gives it to us, not just to sit here charged up with his love or full of his love, but to share it with other people. That's how we show Jesus in our lives. I get it. When I'm full of love, I can share it with others by showing mercy, even when they mess up and take my honey. That's right. Jesus often told a story to make his point. I'm going to read you a story or parable that Jesus told his followers about forgiving people and debts. Matthew 18, 24 to 27. Then Peter came up to Jesus and asked, Master, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not to say to you seven times, but up to 70 times seven. Do you know how much that is? Mm. 490. 490 times. Wow! How could you even keep track? Well, that's what he did. And he said, here's his story. Because of this, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he had begun to settle the accounts, that means to get what they owed him, one servant was brought who owed him $10 million. He couldn't pay it, so the king commanded that he had to be sold, and his wife, and his children, and all that he had to pay off the debt. The servant begged the king, Master, have patience, and I will pay you all I owe. The master of that servant was moved with compassion. He released him and said, You do not have to pay can you imagine not having to pay back $10 million? Imagine how thankful you would be. That servant went out and found another servant who owed him about $16. He grabbed him by the throat and said, Pay me what you owe. The servant told him, Have patience with me and I shall pay you all I owe. That's the same thing he had told the king and he had been forgiven of his debt. So what do you think he replied to the servant who owed him $16? Well, he didn't show mercy. 
He wouldn't forgive him his debt, and he threw him into prison until his debt could be paid. When the other servants saw what he did, they went to the king and told him. Then the king called him back and said, You wicked servant! I forgave you all your debt because you begged me. Should you not have had compassion on your fellow servant as I had compassion on you? The king was mad, and he put him into prison until he could pay everything he owed. Ten million dollars. So, also my heavenly father shall do to you if each of you does not forgive his brother from his heart. You see what happened when the servant didn't treat his debtor the way he was treated? His mercy got taken away. So, mercy is about showing love and forgiveness to those who might not deserve it? That's right. Like our Heavenly Father forgives us because Jesus paid the price that we owed for doing wrong. We have been given mercy. So it should be our desire to show mercy too. And then mercy will come back to us. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. You know what? Here's a little flower you can make to help you remember our verse. Just read the whole verse on the flower petals and fold down one each time to help you remember like this. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall be shown mercy. And the second time, blessed are the merciful, and so on until you have all the petals down and you'll know the verse by heart. Another way you could do this is you could blow up a balloon and with a friend or yourself you could tap it and say one word of the verse each time you tap it. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall be shown mercy. That makes it a little more active if you have a friend to play. It's fun too because you can start over if you don't get it right the first time. Okay, well I would like to end with a little prayer. I'm so thankful that our Heavenly Father has given us mercy. His ne it says in the Bible, His mercy is never ending. So He's not like that King who will go back and not be merciful. He is a merciful King and He will forgive us our sins if we ask Him. But we need to show that to other people too. Well, let us end with a little prayer as Christ taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Blessings.